All right, happy New Year's. It is January 1st and Portland is gorgeous. Last time you saw me, it was pouring down rain. For whatever reason, the last couple days, it's decided to get really nice out. So I'm doing something that I like to do every New Year's day that I can, and that's just go walk around the city, think about what the year's gonna look like, and uh, get a little exercise, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little hungover right now. Remember the last video where I told you I was worried my house was gonna fall down the hill? There was actually a landslide on my hill. I wasn't making this up. Blue sky, January 1st. After the wettest month we've had in Portland's history, I'm liking the way 2016's going. Long well, being January 1st, it is also right in the middle of one of the only big sales I do for Location Rebel all year, so that's kind of fun. Huh. Thanks, Chris. Welcome to everybody that's joining. Stoked to have you all. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you guys on the inside. That's the dream house right there. If I was moving in the next year and I had, you know, a few extra hundred thousand dollars to spend, that would be the house. You should see this thing's backyard. Unreal. Yeah, it's cold. So, it's January 1st, so naturally we have to talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions. I'm not one of those people who thinks New Year's resolutions are bad. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just like any other day of the year. It's full of false promises and hope and all that stuff. I'm of the belief that New Year's resolutions are inherently a very good thing. That being said, generally there's two things wrong with most of the resolutions people make. One, they're not measurable. Two, the ones that are measurable aren't measurable enough. So here's what I mean by that. You know, I'm going to eat healthy, or I'm going to get in shape, or I'm going to make more money. None of those are measurable. And obviously that's generic advice. But here's the thing that's a little bit different. The ones that are measurable, the ones that say, like even the ones that I made on Location 180 this year, I'm going to play 20 new top 100 golf courses. I'm going to grow my email list by 20,000 subscribers. I mean, growing my email list by 20,000 subscribers, like that's a that's a big number. Like that's, that's a lot of work. If I don't have more measurable goals and more milestones along that way, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get super frustrated and I'm essentially going to stop trying to achieve that goal. I'm going to stop actively working on it. It's like friggin' 27 degrees out here. And so if I'm not making sense, if I'm rambling, if you know, I'm not clearly enunciating, because I'm freaking cold. A better way to do this would be to be like, okay, my, my overall goal is to have 20,000 new email subscribers, but I'm gonna have 20 different milestones along the way towards that path that are gonna help me to prove I'm making progress. So even if I don't necessarily feel like I'm making a lot of progress, I can see it's like, oh, you know, I got 50 in one day. That was a big, a big milestone for me. I ran a new campaign that brought in 274 new subscribers. That was a big deal. And so to be able to have more measurable goals and more measurable milestones along the way is gonna actually lead to more success. I say this because this is something we've done a lot in Location Rebel. I try and help them set fewer lofty goals and more small measurable milestones. And so that's what I'm doing in my own life this year, specifically around health and fitness and trying to actually set myself up for success as opposed to making just the lofty goals that I'm going to fail on. So, I'm now going to get off my soapbox. That is my advice. Fewer lofty goals, more smaller milestones. And uh, if you do that, your 2016 is gonna be awesome. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep you up to date with this video blog. I also apologize, I said every Thursday, this last Thursday there wasn't one, but you got two Location Rebel case studies instead. So, there you go. And because it's still sale day, thank you, Ian. Stoked to have you in the community. So, you wanna know how I'm actually gonna hold myself accountable for getting in shape and taking care of my health? I'm actually gonna get an accountability coach every single day. Gotta get exercise, gotta eat healthy. I'm making big moves this next year. Okay, you with me? You with me? You, me, me, you, yeah. Let's do this.
Told you, we're getting in shape. It's happening. Nobody was expecting this. Pretty. Really cold. Really only one thing left to do on a sail day and a snow day. Let's hang out, binge watch Netflix, celebrate the new year. What's up? Thank you so much for watching my video on New Year's resolutions. Make sure you hit subscribe below for a new video every Thursday. And I want to know what questions do you have? What do you want to see covered on the vlog? What, what travel questions do you have? What questions do you have about the lifestyle business or working from the road or anything like that? Leave a comment, let me know, and I'll make sure we cover it in the future. And until then, I'm going to go do something productive with my life because I've got milestones I've got to reach. So I will see you guys later. Later.